Come on, boy. It's time to fly. The episode will start in a moment, guys. I just wanted to let you know that we are going to be streaming on the Flyboy server this coming Sunday, two days from today, at 5 p.m. Eastern. Mark your calendars. It is going to be fantastic. Commence episode. Look at this creeper just trolling around behind me. He thinks... He thinks he's... He... I don't have any bullets. Don't have any bullets. I have six bullets. There we go. Sick, baby. What's going on, everybody? This is Skizm. Welcome back to Flyboys. We are on Team Pink. We are on the Northeast Island, and I want to show you guys what we've been working on here. So, uh, we've been fortifying the... You can see if I go to the map here, if I hit J, all these green dots here. These are all punji sticks. Punji sticks are going to be incredibly useful uh, for base defense for any sort of ground foot traffic that comes over either in boats or in vehicles that we shoot down if you're down here you're in a bad way because when you walk over these punji sticks first of all you take a little bit of damage no big deal uh, you, you know you, you kind of heal now I'm wearing a pretty good amount of armor here let me take this off and see what the damage is Yeah, they, they do a little, they do a good little bit of damage to you. It, it counts, you know? Uh, of course, we're not going to be wearing full enchanted armor like I am for the battle. So it'll do a little more, which is great. But the best thing is that when you walk on them, they give you a second of slowness. Which is going to make you a real easy target for any snipers that we have up here in the, uh, in the prison. Now, I've got all of these. Uh, oh, let me get this stuff ready here. I think I have enough space to collect all these. We need to collect all these reeds. We got a big reed set up here. I probably could uh, refine this and make it a little easier to collect uh, rather than having it just all around the perimeter here. That's actually uh, something we can do. Yeah, you know what? That's actually something we can do. I can give, a, give us an easier reed set up here because this is kind of a pain in the butt to collect because they're all around the perimeter. And they're all over here. And it's just kind of stupid. They're through the nose of the F-18. It's a little bit of a mess. Oop. Hang on, sorry guys. One second. There we go. Um, but the fortunate thing is that it gives us tons and 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 tons, and tons of reeds. Which is amazing because we really read them that was the worst joke I've ever told we really need them I don't even care if we waste some not a huge deal I've actually collected four stacks oh I wonder how many I actually missed jeez probably a bunch over there right that no, doesn't look like I missed too many cool so like I said we're collecting these we are Making the punji sticks is actually not too bad. The problem is, if you if you have five by, you know, you, it takes five canes to make five punji sticks. But because up to five punji sticks can go into into a single uh, block, they really don't go as far as you think they would. Um, let me see here. Yeah, like four stacks of reeds got me four stacks of punji sticks. But that might only let me place them in 64 blocks instead of like 256, you know? So what's cool about these is you can put up to five in a single one. And I don't know if that increases the slowness. No, it doesn't. It just increases the damage. Dude, with no armor and stepping on a five spot of punji sticks, you're going to die real fast. So let me show you guys what else we've been working on here because there have been tons of things going on in the base. Um, we have, whoops, hello, hello. We're Team Pink, and that's cool. We all know it. It's fine. No big deal. We have got some pink sheep over here, which we need to start breeding up, make them do it real good. Um, what can I get rid of? What can I get rid of? This stuff's all kind of important. Let me go here and throw this stuff up. 
Hardened energy cell. Huh. I'll have to deal with that pretty soon. Come on, gimme, gimme, gimme. Boom, boom, you guys do it. You make pink little sheep baby. Pink little sheep baby. Oh, your baby is the cutest. Congratulations on your new family. Parenthood is the most amazing and terrible thing that will ever happen to you cows and sheeps. Come on, everybody, do it. You gotta replenish your ranks after uh, Pungent took you all out <laughs> with a single well placed rocket. Yep. Okay, I guess you guys did it. I can't really tell. Okay. <clears throat> so let me take you on tour inside. The last, uh, we've been streaming a lot lately. The past couple streams, I've been doing various things. One of them was almost completing all the walls on this thing. Uh, most of the walls were done by. B dubs laid the outline. I did most of the filling in of the walls. He started the detail work on the front here. Now, one thing I want suggestions from you guys on is where to place our uh, defense guns, our defensive turrets. I got one up here on the very top of the turret, and it just looks so, so baller up there. It looks so good. Um, <clears throat> if I go over here, I'm going to go inside a little bit. I set up our power for our energy cells. Uh, and I'm going to... Did I cook everything? I think I cooked everything. I'm gonna get the iron in here. Oh, baby is imminent. Baby is incoming, dude. I hear him. He's getting ready. He's getting ready. So, uh, we got our power set up just right over here for now because I didn't know where else to put it. We gotta figure out what we're doing on the inside, though. On one hand, having the natural terrain in here in parts could be kind of cool if it was like kind of a destroyed prison. Um, but on the other hand, I kind of don't know about, like, it might just be cool to have, like, an actual built-in prison. So we're probably going to need to start taking out this land here and starting to fill in. Hi. What's up? Time to leave. Daddy's not watching videos about dogs right now. Come on, come on. Bye. Very good. All the way. All the way. Come on, I need your help. Okay. Baby, baby interruption. Um... So, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah. I put the... Oh, I went the wrong way. No. I put the uh, this gun emplacement up over here. Now, I think it's going to be perfect placement because... Let me show you guys this. Hello. Yoink. Oh, baby. Good jumps. Good jumps. Oh, we need a better way around this thing. We do. We need a better way around this thing for real. Oh, man. But stop talking about everything. Baby Skiz is jazzed right now. Yeah. So what's nice is we can hop in this turret right here. And once we load it up with ammo, dude, the air is ours in this area. Now, this thing might get hit. It might get taken down a little bit. But we'll have various turrets, uh, turrets scattered throughout. It's going to be so sick, dude. It's going to be so hard to fly in this area. This has total air command from here. You can hit anything. Now, you can't hit stuff on the ground. You can only hit uh, this area over here. Uh, we'll probably have to have a couple at lower stations for that purpose. But, uh, dude, it's going to be it's gonna be tough going coming over here by air. And we're, that's what we're going to need. We're going to need a lot of air travel. So what I want to do, guys, real quick is take a break. I'm going to set up, uh, I'm going, oh, I need to hang my meat. First of all, I'm going to hang my meat. I'm going to set up a better read, uh, a more efficient read setup for us. And I'll be back with you guys in just a second. All right, boys and girls, we are back. I have got two things to show you. First, cleaned up the reeds. No more reeds all the way around. Instead, we've just got a nice condensed little... Uh, reed farm over here. I might actually enclose this in a little bit to make it look a little cooler. Uh, but, ooh, no rain sounds. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> no rain sounds. Weather, I hear. Huh, I don't know. I just don't hear rain. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. This, is a, this has to be a. Uh, this has to be a. 
There it is. Yep. <laughs> it is definitely an out defined thing. Um, so yeah. Clean up the reeds, put them all over here. I'm going to fence this in and make it look a little cooler. But we have also done something else pretty baller looking. Uh, of course, the inside of this area is probably going to get cleaned out, but I have created our power station right over here. Now, I use the uh, the basalt smooth stone, the basalt pavers, and uh, this sweet-looking chiseled type of iron bar to enclose it. So this looks pretty, pretty badass. And uh, the only thing that I need to set up now, I don't know if I still brought... I don't know if I brought any of the hoppers over with me. I need to set up all the hopper system that I had before so we can feed in coal into the system so it runs smoothly. I'm sure there's a better, more powerful dynamo I can get for that thing, but we have so much coal and so much charcoal that it makes sense to, uh, to power it off of that for right now because that doesn't really have any other great use except for crafting gunpowder with that special recipe that we have. So I'm going to run back over here, I'm going to check out my hopper situation, and I'm going to show you guys my gun chest. So in addition to my uh, M4, M16 Asimov and my uh, yellow Barrett, we got this sick looking gray and black MP5K, this amazing looking red L86, and of course our uh, case hardened AK. But look how sick this gun looks. Look how sick that gun looks with the red in there. So I'm just uh, keeping my important stuff up here for right now. Um, it's going to keep my gun separate from everybody else's. So let me get back over here. Oh, I didn't check for the hoppers. Stupid. Adoy. No hoppers here. No hoppers here. No hoppers here. Mayhaps there's a hopper over here I see I see nothing I see no hoppers I see no hoppers oh damn really thought we had hoppers you guys probably saw a thousand hoppers that I just skipped over okay so uh, since that's our actual current situation I don't know why I didn't bring any of the hoppers with me. That was kind of stupid. I'm going to create a few here. And then I'm going to need a whole bunch of iron for it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Three. Three hoppers is good enough for now. I'll tell you why. We're going to go over here. we got enough coal for way more. But uh, I gotta really gotta clean out this chest a little bit, dude, or this inventory. It's kind of sad. Um, boom, da boom, da boom, da boom. That's okay for right now. 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 Let's get back over here. And we're going to set these hoppers up in such a way that it makes easy filling. So this guy's got to go straight into the back. Uh, this one's got to go into that. And this one's got to go into that. So I guess I really could... There's probably a cleaner way to do this, but for right now, this is cool. Yeah, because I'm thinking I'm just going to put a couple more hoppers all the way around. Maybe an easy chest in the front that outputs to those hoppers. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We'll probably do that. I don't have any bolts for any more of my guns. So the next dude that comes up has to get samurai sliced. Next dude that comes up is going to get samurai sliced. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, 
the the last wrong that I need to correct today is something that I did very recently. Um, I was again, I was streaming. I've been streaming a lot lately. It's a great time. You guys got to check it out. I tried to pick up B Dubs in the water. Uh, he was swimming, and I was in the air. And I thought, okay, time to go get him. Uh, instead of thinking, don't do that, you'll crash the helicopter into the water, which is what I did. I crashed a very, exper very expensive helicopter that I made straight into the ocean, and it blew up horribly. So this Apache I'm going to remake here, and I'm going to drop this, uh, I think, just right on top of this building. How did this dude spawn? For right now because uh, I want to keep this one this one this one's gonna be my chopper I don't have I don't own too many things but this one I want I want to be mine <laughs> sneeze <coughs> yeah there we go okay oh god it's coming again <coughs> got it nailed it okay uh, oh you know what I can't I need to fill up my fuel fuel tanks. Boom. Fill it up. That should get halfway, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So we've remade our Apache. We've got some fuel. I want to do a quick fly over the base here. Actually, ooh, I don't... Oh, maybe this is why I lose helicopters. You coming back down? You sure are. Great. That's how you fly a helicopter. <laughs> Let me make it daytime first. Let me make it daytime first. Helicopter still on. Helicopter stayed on a good long while. I think uh, next episode we might use Schematica to create... Uh, I'm going to use Schematica to create some, uh, what am I trying to say? To create some, some helipads for us. So here we go. The base is actually shaping up quite nicely. It really is. We've got a lot going on. We've got a lot of good things happening here. And this is going to be... This is going to be uh, tough to penetrate. I think with four dudes, I think really with two, two guys on D, we'll be able to man this pretty well. The beautiful, the beautiful thing is, you won't be able to see, uh, you won't be able to shift on your way over. you got to be flying, man. So we're going to be able to easily able to pick out people coming over. So I think we're going to be in good shape here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Flyboys. We are going to be, like I said earlier, we're going to be streaming Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for checking it out, and I will see you guys soon.